Are you ready to get married? Me? Yeah. No. If you say you're mentally ready. <laughs> I am not ready to get married. I have a lot of things I want to do in my life. I'm ready to get, get married. married. There's a lot of things. <laughs> I'm a lot. Yes. yes. <laughs> they talk like say, get I don't, I don't really mean, you know, that's the thing. I don't put time to marriage for me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because... No, of course, yeah. Again, I know like women, our biological clock is ticking. But then, I feel like Marriage is very, very important. Serious. Choosing someone yeah. you want to spend the rest of your life it's, with is a very important decision to make. Very, very important decision to make. Yeah. And especially someone you want to give children. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> I'm going to give children out of it. I'm giving yeah. you my life. I'm giving you babies. Because the thing is, a lot I'm of, altering my body. Lot my body is never going to be the same again. A lot yeah. of people are very kind to their kids, but not kind to their spouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you don't know that your spouse is supposed to be like your top priority, even before your children. There is God, and then there's your spouse. I feel like some people even just your get children. married to have kids. They don't get married to be a family man and be involved in, in you know, family, family things. things. It's just they another just get thing married so you can pop out babies for off. them, and you know, you and then you can see you can see it when you know that woman you know already has children, and then resentment starts setting in. Maybe this woman is pregnant, her body has changed, and now you're disgusted as mm-hmm. a woman, as a man, and you're like, this is not how I married you, but bro, you did this to me. And then, and then <laughs> In case you don't know. Like, oh, wow. like, Why you met me? Was I like this? No. So like, you need, you need like someone that would stick through that process yeah. with you, because being pregnant would change you as a woman. There's a lot that people don't even talk about. Mm-hmm. There's the whole post, is it was um, part of the pressure on that a lot of women go through yeah. and they don't even think it's important like men don't go through all of that all they do is you know bust Your nuts and that's it them, though, <laughs> yeah. you know. do you get at that point so like you need someone that actually cares about you as a person not yeah. just sees you yeah. as someone that yeah. would a baby making machine yeah. but then I feel like when it comes down to you calling off your relationship due to certain reason please let it be for a reasonable thing don't just some people call off relationship because they're tired like they are just tired of themselves not because they're tired of the other person some people don't even give you a valid reason why they call off certain relationship i believe people deserve closure like i need closure to know why what, what went wrong do you get like mm-hmm. don't just tell me you're done and expect me to just, just leave me hanging do you get tell me why you're done i need to know why you're done and if I feel your reason is valid, I don't have a problem with you being done. Fine, go and find your partner in the future. You get. And some people automatically know that. There's some people who know that they, they will not marry you, but they keep keeping Those string you along. Yeah. yeah. They just want you to be there. Like, and there's some people who, at the end of the day, still know they don't like you, but do things for you out of pity. Because hmm. they do not want to hurt you. forbid. That's pity. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild. There are people, I remember a man telling me that he got married to his wife because she has been with him like the longest that he doesn't have love there anymore. But because he has seen her. But because of that loyalty, I feel like men value loyalty. Why? So wait, did the love yeah. leave the relationship before or after marriage? It was like before, even when he started doing well for himself, like, like the him. woman is not the kind of woman he wants to be with. But as at the level he was, like she was the available woman. And she was but the supportive then, one. I think it's yeah. wickedness when you marry someone knowing full well that you that cannot provide the expressing emotional energy. Yeah. And then he, he's like, and I asked him, I said, why would you feel like she's not on your level? Did you take her there? He's like, yes, that while he was growing, he has seen, he, he personally wanted to make her, like, you know, elevate. He wanted them to grow together. Together, but, but she doesn't want to grow. He outgrew mm-hmm. her. Like, really? no, like, he did not, he did not outgrow her yet until she decided that she doesn't want to grow. That she was just very comfortable with him growing and she not growing. You get mm. so he wants somebody that wants to grow as well. as well, but because you know he doesn't just want to hurt her feelings, he's still like basically concerned about, about her, her mental it's basically health. Basically, pity relationship. And then he was like, no, he's not doing anything marriage. with the marriage. They just have kids. He makes sure he's always making sure that both his wife and the kids they are very fine. But he's still looking for his missing rib. Hey, may you find it? <laughs> I'm so many kids. He's still looking for his missing. He knows that there's somebody out now. there for him. 
That's stupid. That's crazy. That, that, that is, is not, very it's, selfish. It's stupid. Very. That's a selfish thing to do. It's stupid. very very selfish. It's stupid because mm. here's the thing. Let, let, let me tell you something. There's a there's a thought there's a thought that people have and it really really pisses me off. That thing of oh I married the wrong person. No, you did not marry mm-hmm. the wrong person. You made us you your chose. choice. You yeah. chose the person. Yeah. Chose that person. God is not mad at it. It's not a mistake. They didn't force you. That is your wife. That is your husband. You mm. made that choice. That person is your. There's no other person outside that would have been that that is a better fit for you yeah. in that moment. You made yeah. your choice. You, mm-hmm. you lay your bed, lie in it. So when people come and say, "Oh, you, I, why didn't I meet you? I think you might have been the one for me. I married the wrong person." What a shady. My own is even if you even if you say, "I wish I met you before, before my, my God, wife. we punish." Oh, you. even if you've decided that that your wife is not your person and you've outgrown the relationship, then mm. leave. Mm. Yeah, See, so that she's I am a fan of exactly. I am a fan of not holding. Don't trap people down when you know that they are not the one for you. Because it's not fair to that woman. It's not fair yeah. to her. She can be like it, it will be hard for her, but at least she will know she doesn't have a husband again. I don't like the idea of and she can imagine being tired. Imagine most of them will not divorce you. Most of them will still divorce. That's where the problem is. I don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of divorcing just because you're tired. I don't like the idea of divorce just because you're tired. It's not a relationship. This is what, marriage. What, what you so when would you to divorce? <laughs> to divorce? Sorry? What is a valid reason to you to divorce? I mean, it's very it's clear. If there, is, if there is emotional abuse. Physical abuse. Physical abuse. Mm-hmm. Sexual abuse. Lack of commitment. Cheating. Mm-hmm. Those are grounds. Even unresolved for issues. You know, some men don't like to resolve issues. Yeah, yeah they don't they like, just like to, to go over so right and act like, oh, we're cool again. Oh, okay. But we don't resolve that issue. Go to therapy going. so that they can help people out. Because I know they can't. Go therapy. Nigerian men therapy. therapy. Why are we say Nigerian men therapy. are therapy. if they are They would rather go to their pastors. Okay, and your they, pastor and is the pastor will make them feel they're better fine. because they're the men of the house. Yeah, and they will call their wife and advise the wife. I mean, Nigerian man will agree to go to therapy if he's my pastor. I, I I completely trust my pastor, so I know that my pastor will be in a better, in a good position to give good advice. Okay. So also depends on the people that you have in your life. Mm. So if I'm thinking about this, uh, yeah, if you say pastor, I completely agree. Go to your pastor. But if your pastor is also the kind of person that is not that he doesn't fit the bill, there's one thing pastor then want find to do somebody else is to make the patriarchy stronger. Mm-hmm. You no, not all pastors. And I'm not saying it's all pastors. Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm just saying that eighty percent of the pastor when yeah. you have relationship issues, yeah. As a woman, they will tell you to, you know, swallow it up and mm-hmm. pray to God. They're not going to, they're not going to advise you to give you the pastor's and, and wife, asking God to touch his would heart have an idea on to how change. to help you. Do you get? Pastors they will, will never, even you. if you tell the pastor that this this guy has been beating me black and blue, mm. they will say that you don't know what God has, is using it to do. You need to be patient. Now, so He's going through a tough time. You need to stand, stand firm you stand and stay with him. Team. Bags and leave <laughs> the house. This video I saw, um, oh my I don't God. want to mention you know, the church's name, but I think he was kind of doing like a pastor guidance and counseling. But the crazy part is, I believe that that should be done in mm-hmm. private. Not... In public, this guy just put them in front of the whole church, give them mic. My wife came and said, You're getting <laughs> every day. This, this, I like this, it. Embarrass the like, man. That is good. Because Embarrass I'm sure she has been man. trying to resolve this thing inside. It, yes. Mm-hmm. Me, he refused. If you he embarrass him, he will feel, feel, feel ashamed of <laughs> himself. You cannot talk to me. You can't talk to me. Oh, yeah, now nah, talk to in front of the congregation. She be if he, you guys, this is also part of congregation. Make we see. And a lot of people got a lot of comments on that. I was like, hey, she should have done it privately. Mm. He is a man. His ego is fragile. So it's not ego that is not fragile now. I firmly believe that if you're going to get married to a man and, you know, you're about, call, you're about to call it Olubawi. If this man does not have someone that can talk to him, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, don't do it. That was a very big flag. Don't like do very, it. Because there is no way you're going to be able to resolve issues that is outside, that is bigger than both of you. If this man doesn't have someone that can sit him down. That and he respects. Have, exactly. That because he respects. That can have a person. proper conversation mm-hmm. with him. And also, the way a man talks about his parents matter a lot. So like, the way you treat your parents and your immediate family members would literally tell you everything you need to know before even, you marry that his man. ex. Do you get? Like if you if you if you are the kind of guy that you can talk to your mother anyhow, you can talk to your father anyhow, you have nobody that you cannot just be rude to. You mm. get so mm. like, that's a huge red flag for any girl. It should be a huge red flag for any girl. 
because there's no telling that he won't treat you the same way. Mm -hmm. He might be respecting you now, but if this guy can be comfortable disrespecting his own family members, I don't care if it's his younger sister, but if you don't treat your family members with respect, I'm sorry, there's no way that you are going to treat me with respect in the long run. Oh, 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 oh,